Hi, I'm Josh Katzenstein here with Jeff Duncan. We're at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome where the Saints just suffered one of the most emotionally draining defeats in franchise history, probably in NFL history, where they lost to the Rams 26 to 23 in overtime in the NFC Championship game. Uh, all anyone is gonna be talking about from this game is the non-call on what should have been a pass interference against a Rams cornerback who just blew up Tommy Lee Lewis before the ball arrived. Jeff, how, how do the Saints just ever come back from a loss like this? Well, it's a stunning loss, second year in a row that their season has ended in heartbreaking fashion. I think this one's going to be a lot more difficult to stomach even than the Minnesota miracle a year ago because of what you said. I mean, it was a non-call, clearly a pass interference that would have basically sealed the game. The Saints would have been given a new set of downs. They could have run clock down and probably kicked a game-winning field goal instead. Uh, the third down call goes to fourth down and uh, gives the Rams time to go down and win the game. I, I don't know how they stomach this one. I know Sean Payton was very upset. He spent most of the time out after the field goal chewing the ear of the officials, and he reportedly called the NFL office after the game immediately. Uh, but the Saints also squander a lot of opportunities. We can talk about that. Uh, but this one is going to be defined by Saints fans going forward as one that really kind of got robbed from them. Uh, I think they feel like they had another Super Bowl on the line here, and then the officials kind of stepped in and uh, robbed them of an opportunity. Absolutely. I mean, we could go back to the first quarter. The Saints start with a field goal when it looked like they had a promising drive, and then uh, Demario Davis gets an interception, and then they get a field goal from there. If either of those first two drives produces a touchdown, Saints might not have been in this situation. But ultimately, they had the lead with a minute 41 after uh, Will Lutz kicked the field goal. But then the defense gave up a field goal to the Rams, which pushed it to overtime. Drew Brees threw an interception uh, on like the fourth snap of overtime, and then the Rams just needed a field goal to win. Greg Zerline hit a 57-yarder, a huge kick. Um, but certainly, you know, the Saints after the game were just totally demoralized, dejected in the locker room. And most of the conversation was about that missed call because, like Jeff said, it really would have, you know, sealed the win for the Saints. All they would have needed to do was get a short field goal. But instead, the Rams had the opportunity, and they won the game, and they're going to the Super Bowl. Well, and here's the other thing. Uh, after the game, uh, a pool reporter from our staff, Amy Just, went down to interview Bill Vinovich, the lead official, which is protocol in the NFL after a, a controversial call like that. Bill Vinovich basically uh, copped out. I mean, he said he didn't see the call. He said it is a judgment call uh, by the side judge at the time. Uh, but we didn't really get a straight answer, and the NFL office did not answer uh, to the call. They said that only in postseason, only replay calls are they allowed to make a comment on. They don't have to make a comment on a judgment call like that. So really, we got no answers from the NFL or from the officials on that, and I just don't think that's fair. I mean, I think the NFL and I think the Saints and the fans <laughs> deserve some kind of comment because it was such a blatant non-call and it ultimately cost the Saints the game and a chance to go to the Super Bowl. And I think with so much consequences on the line, uh, the NFL has to make some kind of comment this week on that non-call. Yeah, and back in 2009 when the Saints beat the Vikings in the NFC Championship game, that game led to the overtime rules being changed. And now we wonder if you know this will change uh, the replay uh, rules. But certainly, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't help the Saints right now as their magical season comes to an end at home against the Rams. For Jeff Duncan, I'm Josh Katzen. See, and you can read all of our coverage at NOLA.com and in the Times-Picayune.